Welcome to T20 DSA challenge. Today's problem is we have to separate even and odd numbers. Even numbers get that VIP access in the front and odd numbers are chilling in the back. But still you need to maintain the order in which they were originally there. This question is a classic array manipulation problem. But this requires two pointer technique for those sweet O of n time complexity. This concept will not only supercharge your problem solving skills, these are fundamentally required. Let's talk about arrays. Arrays are continuous block of data in memory and each have index starting from zero. We can access an element in array using array of i. We can manipulate array of i equal to something. We can easily traverse it with any loop and insert and delete elements in it. For example, we have given an array, array equal to a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. For i in range of length of an array, we are using array of i multiplied equal to 2. So it will multiply each element of the array. Now our array is array of 2 comma 4 comma 6 comma 8 so it is simply multiplied each element 1 2 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 now let's talk about two pointer technique the two pointer technique is like having two detectives solving the same problem the key idea is that we use two pointers to traverse an array often in opposite direction at different speeds here is a simple example we have given an array a equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 like previously and we need to reverse it so we'll define a function and which takes array as input Followed by, we define two variables, left comma right, which is equal to 0 comma length of array minus 1. So we are initiating a pointer left, which is starting at the array and right, which is ending at the array. While left is less than right, we increment the left part and we decrement the right part. And in the end, we return the array. Now our array initial array is completely reversed. 5 comma 4 comma 3 comma 2 comma 1. Why do we need to use these kind of techniques? The number one thing is efficiency. They are really efficient. We are doing it in O of n time complexity. Number two, space complexity. With help of two pointer technique, we can easily traverse in O of one space complexity because we are doing in place array manipulation. And number three, versatility. You can solve n number of problems. Mostly with brute force, you can solve any problem with two pointer technique. Technique. Pause the video right here and go solve the problem because I'm going to drop hint one. Do you utilize the modulo operator? You know what I mean, right? For even number, if you use a modulus divided by two, if you if and only if you get zero, it is an even number or else the other person is odd. At least go now and solve the problem because I'm going to drop hint two. You can use two pointer technique, one pointer for current letter and another pointer for even numbers. Here are the bonus cookie points. Number one, use in place array manipulation. Number two, use one loop to traverse to the array. Number three, aim for O of n time complexity. I know this video will be a stepping stone until you reach graphs mastery. Bye guys. See you on leaderboard. Hope you make it to the graphs camp.